So this video is going to be our video on the inflammatory bowel diseases. Why is this going to be important? It's going to cover the important stuff for the USMLE and the important stuff for the complex exams. And also it's going to include some pretty high yield stuff for third and fourth year medical school when dealing with inflammatory bowel diseases. Because on your inpatient wards, you're going to see a lot of patients with abdominal pain, with abdominal bleeding of some sort. So, it's important to know the inflammatory bowel diseases. There are going to be two main ones. You're going to see Crohn's, and you're going to see ulcerative colitis. You see ulcerative colitis. All right, so again, this is not a comprehensive coverage of these two topics. However, it's going to be the high yield topics. Crohn's, simply put, it's going to be transmural inflammation. What does transmural inflammation mean? Well, it means that we're going to have mucosal inflammation. We're going to have the muscular layer inflammation, and we're going to have the outside covering layer inflammation, the serous inflammation um, of the colon. So Crohn's is going to be transmural inflammation. However, I did say of the colon, however, Crohn's can really affect anywhere in GI tract. Typically it's located in the colon, however you're going to see small bowel involvement. You may even see stomach involvement. It's going to be anywhere in the GI tract. On the other hand, ulcerative colitis is going to be mucosal inflammation, meaning just the inside layer, the luminal layer is going to be involved, so just the luminal layer. That's why we need biopsies to determine these two. These two present pretty similarly, meaning a patient comes in with abdominal pain. They come in with 10 bowel movements a day that are bloody. You know, it could be Crohn's, it could be ulcerative colitis. They're kind of one and the same. However, in medicine, we separate them into two distinct groups, the Crohn's group and the ulcerative colitis group, meaning one is transmural, one is just one layer of inflammation. Uh, ulcerative colitis typically starts at the rectum. Ulcerative colitis, look at the name, ulcerative colitis, colitis, meaning inflammation of the colon. So it's going to stay pretty much at the colon, while Crohn's, on the other hand, will be anywhere in the GI tract. So that's a good one to involve. Starts at the rectum always and works its way up through the colon. So you start at the rectum, go to the sigmoid, go to the descending, go to the transverse, and then finally go to the ascending. And then maybe, maybe you could see some cecum involvement. Um, however, it's always going to involve the rectum, the inflammation is always going to involve the rectum. It may then also involve the sigmoid. Had a patient with rectosigmoid inflammation. You may also see it spread even more proximally, more proximally, or more proximally. It could be either one of these. However, they're always going to involve the rectum and then involve the next segment. So we're going to have a continuous inflammation. On the other hand, Crohn's will have these skip lesions. Now, you may be asking what a skip lesion is. You'll see it in board review books. You'll see it on exam questions. However, nobody does a very thorough job of explaining what skip lesions are. So that's my goal here today, is just to give you a basic understanding of the high yield information. Skip lesions. In Crohn's, you're going to see, let's just say this is your GI tract. Here's your mouth. Here's your anus. One big tube is pretty much all it is. Skip lesions are going to be, you're going to see this area of inflammation, area of normal, area of inflammation, area of normal, area of inflammation, area of normal. So let's just say this is going to be the stomach. We got the du duodenum. We've got the jejunum. We've got, let's make up the the transverse colon, 
and let's just say this is the sigmoid. So what it is, is you're going to see in the mouth region, nothing. In the stomach, you may see some transmural inflammation. In the duodenum, you may see nothing, while in the jejunum, you may see transmural inflammation. You may go through uh, quite, a few, quite a long stretch of bowel and colon there, see nothing, but in the transverse colon, you may see the inflammation, normal inflammation, normal inflammation. That is what a skip lesion is. It means you're going to see some normal bowel or normal tract, followed by some transmural inflammation, followed by some normal tract, etc., etc. Notice that it is rectum sparing. That's a very key distingui distinguishing factor between the inflammatory bowel diseases. While Crohn's disease is rectum sparing, ulcerative colitis is not. So that's, so that's some uh, stuff you may see. You may also see cobblestone. I don't have a picture of that. However, cobblestoning, imagine the Wizard of Oz and Dorothy skipping down a cobblestone road. That is kind of what it looks like on the inside during a colonoscopy. You may see this cobblestoning effect. And that's going to be more pathognomonic of Crohn's disease, however, not the only disease that you'll see that in, so be careful with that. Um, the treatment. How are you going to treat these two? Well, the, the regimen is actually pretty complex, not something that I want to go into, not something that you'll be tested over uh, specifically in the USMLE or COMLEX. But here are some drugs. <coughs> I'm ASA. That's going to be a mainstay. 6MP. That's another big one. That's 6MP, not PMP. <coughs> uh, that's going to be mercaptopurine. Also, steroids. So, glucocorticoids. Steroids. So glucocorticoids can be used. Um, a whole bunch of different drugs are out there. But we're just realized like 5-ASA, 6-MP, and steroids are going to be the mainstay treatments. Different doses, different preparations. So one might be oral, one might be topical. Kind of depends on the clinician's judgment. Kind of depends on the presentation. Depends on their disease. Just remember for the USMLE, here are some options. And that is what you should know about uh, the inflammatory bowel diseases.